Oh, oh no, it's. Mm -hmm. the, they don't get counted whatsoever. Mm -hmm. The great uh, beginning section of Randall Robinson's The Dead, uh, where he, mm -hmm. there's a, a young African American uh, student, male student, and, in, in Washington, D.C., and feeling like D.C. just does not relate. If you could go to D.C., you know, all the monuments are very white. Uh, in terms of what they represent. <laughs> literally, yeah, literally, <laughs> and in terms of what they symbolize and represent. But of course, what you're not told when you go around you know, Washington, D.C., is that you know, literally the nation's capital, capital was built on the backs of slaves. You know, and so that perspective is completely rendered invisible. And instead, what you see is the triumph of the nation, basically, through all these monuments, and through the Capitol Dome, and everything about it. When in reality, of course, you know, Thousands and thousands of slaves built Washington, D.C., and some died in the process of building Washington, D.C. And so, you know, it's really interesting how, by erasing that story, what impact did that have on that young man? A tremendous impact. This city just felt alien to him. And then to know, to learn the history, it has its own pain associated with it, too, when he does learn. So, it's interesting.